As a training device, the trainer aircraft is designed to assist students in learning flight controls, so they can better operate civilian-slash-military aircraft after completion. However, during World War II, Japan developed a death trainer aircraft with the sole purpose of teaching students how to die. This is the Cherry Blossom 43K-1 trainer aircraft. Given the unfavorable situation in the Pacific War at the time, the Japanese Navy suffered heavy losses in consecutive battles and did not receive sufficient reinforcements. Therefore, they came up with the tactic of launching suicide attacks against Allied warships using aircraft and organized the so-called Kamikaze Corps, advocating the slogan of, One Aircraft Exchanges for One Warship. In 1944, Japan successfully developed the manned rocket-powered Cherry Blossom suicide aircraft. It is not entirely accurate to call it an aircraft, it is more like an early human-guided anti-ship missile. It needs to be mounted on a mother ship and released within 37 kilometers of the target. The aircraft has a torpedo-shaped body, as well as necessary lift and directional control structures such as wings and tail wings. It also has a compact single-seat cockpit, with the nose serving as the warhead, which is a 1,200 kg heavy explosive that can severely damage cruisers or destroyers. Its multiple fuse design ensures that it can successfully detonate from any angle of impact. Speed is crucial for the Cherry Blossom suicide aircraft operation. Three small solid fuel rocket engines are installed in a cruciform pattern at the back of the cockpit, allowing the aircraft to reach a cruising speed of 650 km per hour and a dive speed of up to 930 km per hour. In an era when air combat relied on manual operation of anti-aircraft machine guns slash cannons, it was indeed difficult to defend against the Cherry Blossom. However, Japan faced another problem at the time, which was the lack of pilots. Experienced, veteran, pilots needed to fly valuable conventional aircraft and could not be consumed on a disposable weapon like the Cherry Blossom. The pilots who flew the Cherry Blossom on a mission could not come back to pass on their experiences. As a result, the Japanese developed the specialized Cherry Blossom 43K-1 trainer aircraft. The Cherry Blossom 43K-1 is a twin-seat trainer aircraft modified from the Cherry Blossom, with the warhead removed and replaced with a student seat, as well as an additional set of control systems. However, its cockpit is separated from the main cockpit, which obstructs the trainer's visibility. The trainer version is significantly lighter without the warhead, weighing only 1290 kilograms. Its power system is correspondingly weakened, with only one rocket engine producing 587 pounds of thrust, assisting in completing long-distance gliding. The aircraft does not have a conventional landing gear, but instead, a wide sled-type landing gear is installed on the underside, and the necessary flaps are installed behind the main wings for flight. A total of two Cherry Blossom 43K-1 aircraft were built. It is unclear how high of a flying speed and distance it could achieve, as it appeared very late and was not actually used. After the Japanese surrender, the Allies discovered it, and the United States brought it back for evaluation. Currently, one prototype is preserved in a museum in the United States.